Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, we're going to get into a Lewis Colazzo fight. Um, stopped in the sixth round and announces his retirement. We're going to break down Lewis Colazzo a little bit, the performance, and uh, you know his career a little bit. Uh, before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. On YouTube, that is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. Some good new content up on that channel. Please check it out and subscribe. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, Louis Colazzo stopped um, in, in the sixth round uh, by a fairly unknown uh, and held Ruiz. Um, Ruiz had, had a record of 17 2 and 1, now obviously 18 2 and In San Diego, the Pachanga Arena, uh, Navarrete and Joette Gonzalez. Uh, great card that was. Um, and he had a, uh, it was a win. I guess that was only, I thought there was another fight of notice. Um, no, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm thinking the Colazzo fought in Philadelphia. I'm getting, I'm getting everything. Mix up that was that was really the only fight of notice um, that Ruiz had. Um, so it was a lot to to, to, to look up on him. You know, I, I had I, I didn't even remember the name. I had to research him before the fight. Um, there's not there's not much there on him, and he's pretty basic, high level basic. He's got pretty good pop. He's a southpaw, um, you know. And, and I wanted to say, Clazo is a little bit disappointing. Um, you know, I know he's 41, so it, it is what it is. But you know, he's 39. That's how he'll end his career. Uh, 20 knockouts. But um, he had looked competitive, and not saying he, he was winning. Uh, but he had fought high level guys. He had a, had a win over Brian Prella. I know that's almost five years ago now. Uh, but you know, he had also went over Samuel Vargas. Sammy Vasquez and that comeback following the Keith Thermals. I know this is all years ago, but even after that, he had the technical decision lost, um, which a fight ended with a headbutt uh, in the tenth round with Curtis Tio Abakadarov, and I know Abakadarov didn't go on and really do great things, and he, he lost uh, a couple of Sean Owens, and he lost a couple of fights, um, but at that time he was a touted guy and. Colazzo was in there with him in a really competitive fight after beating Sammy Vargas in the garden. Um, and then he goes on, uh, it is a year and a half later after that with the pandemic, and everything, and he fights Dan Yones. And that, that fight is ends in the fourth round due to an accidental headbutt, but it's a really good fight, really competitive fight. It's a really good fight, really, really competitive fight. And um, you know, it, it ends with the headbutt, and, and San Yones would go on and, and would be a regular bout. And he was competitive in that fight. And he said before the fight that that was his last fight. A year and a half later, he comes back with Ruiz. And, you know, I thought Ruiz was a guy that he could do well with, right? Like, if there was anything left with – if there's anything left in the Colazzo, right, he, he could show that in this fight. And it was at 154, not not a weight he fought at since really early in his career. Uh, you know, Colazzo was 147. And it just wasn't there. Like, he had moments and he was landing – he's out hustling. Uh, 26 year old Ruiz at points in the fight, like he was. Uh, he was landing in combinations and he was having some moments where you could tell it was slow and, and, and the pop wasn't there. And, and, and Claus was too old. He moved out of the way. His head, he was very stationary. He was just getting hit with big shots. And then and in the sixth round, that body shot came in. And uh, really, I mean, it, it was a delay. The so down. To the solar plexus, and you know, you know, because I like Clazo, and, and you want to 
and I wanted to see him come back again. But it's a big win for Ruiz. Ruiz is going to get you know a, a decent money fight off of this. You know he didn't look bad in the fight. Um, and I mean, lose basic guy. He can do. He can do. Um, but let's go look back. Klaus's career could have been viewed very, very differently. Very differently. Um, had he got in 2006 and, and Twenty-one years ago already, um, but he had come back. He had beat Jose Antonio Rivera. Uh, he had come Miguel Angel Gonzalez. So he had these wins, and then he ran into Hatton, and in one of the all-time worst decisions. I mean, one of the all-time worst decisions. They were already planning. But end of that. And he seemed to really have a to have a lot of success with It's, it's a really a shame that this happens in our sport. but And then he never got back to a world title. It seemed like, okay, you know, he came back. He lost to Shane Mosley. Uh, nine came up short. Uh, fought for just uh, got a win. Over Victor Ortiz, then got a a a a. And, uh, and then he got one more fight with Keith Thurman, which was not a fight. Did, um, and that that was basically. But I mean, it's a good career, and then he got some good wins after that. He took a you know year and a half layoff. Pretty good, pretty. Um, it's just you know didn't 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 ultimately didn't. Colasso had not, you know thir- like I said was it twenty three. Um, but Colasso was a, was a fan favorite competitively all the way up until these late years. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, what did you think of Colasso? Um, you know, were you rooting for him like I was? I wanted to see him win. I wanted to see him do something special. This last fight here just didn't it didn't happen. Didn't come to fruition. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three Boxing, Three Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. Also, the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. I'm sorry for that. That that cutouts and stuff. I'm not sure what's going on here. My internet is fine. I'm not sure why it's happening. I'm going to look into that. Uh, all right. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, quick hits. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'll be back. Uh, we have an episode with uh, MC. Out.